What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look, a short video, this is going to be actually of the two Percassi boys that are in the eFootball shop, right? So Antonio Percassi and we also have his son Luca Percassi, a son and father duo that you can get for free, right? Now, these are kind of, look, they're interesting players. A lot of people are asking me about them and I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why these uh, are definitely not to be just ignored straight off the rip. Do I think that they can compete with the meta center backs and right backs? No, I mean, they're not going to compete with Cafu or Nesta or even the likes of Timber or Alaba or somebody like that. That's a lot more mobile and have a lot better stats, right? But I do like the fact that we are going to be getting new players like this that are kind of low rated. All we're missing now is a filter system that will make it viable to use these players instead of coming up against God squads the whole time with stuff to play for, right? So they are available for 5,000 eFootball points. We have already bought these and they are in our squad, which we were going to check out here just in a second. So as you can see here, they are in my squad and you can see that we have got Luca Percassi, who's a right back. He's in as a 17 year old. Now, look, they didn't have the most distinguished careers uh, compared to, uh, you know, the likes of Cafu or Carlos or other legends that are in the game, such as Beckham or any of those, right? But obviously, they are the owners of Atalanta, um, you know, the football club. And I do like the fact that you have got low rated players in, right? But the real selling point of these, in my opinion, as to why I actually did buy them is because of their player skills, right? If you look at the player skills, it's very rare that you have a player with this kind of like flexibility and versatility that's able to play obviously he can only play right back but in terms of his actual ability on the ball stats aren't going to cut up with this guy it's more about his player skills and you can see some of them there for a right back he's got an interception and blocker sliding tackle fighting spirit and man marking which is incredible you've also got low lofted pass right now i haven't trained this player up yet because i was testing out to see what he was going to be like because he does not have a play style. He's one of the only players in the game that does not have a play style, um, which is rather unique as well. And we also have his father here. Um, this guy is a center back. He's got a build-up play style. All the, both of these players have 90 play style proficiency, and they also have both got unwavering form. They also both have interception, blocker, and fighting spirit, which is very, very key when we are reviewing these players and taking a look at these players. I mean, it's hard to... It depends on how you're playing, right? And what type of experience you're having with eFootball. If you're happy to just kind of play a couple of games casually and play friend matches and play a couple of divisions where you're not sweat mode, you can have some fun with these players. They are actually quite solid. As you saw at the start of the game there, there's certain kind of models in the game that just play better than their stats. And these two definitely do. Now, when we are training these up, um, we are going to head over to eFootball DB and we are going to start with Luca Percassi, the son, who is down as a 17 year old. We've got two versions of him, right? So we've got 33 levels to go. And this version that we have here is all about defending, right? So we are going to keep the defending as high as we possibly, possibly can. We're still going to get 77 acceleration with 80 uh, or 77 speed with 80 stamina and 75 acceleration. And as well as that, we do have 71 physical contact, as well as all with the player skills, blocker, interception, sliding tackle. He'll practically defend for you um, in certain situations, right? And all we've concentrated here is putting 18 into defense, which boosts him up to a 79 overall. It's not a really high overall, but when you pair the fact that he's got 80 defensive awareness, 84 aggression, 85 defensive engagement and 82 tackling as well as with that 77 speed and 75 acceleration with unwavering form with team play style that fits in any squad and the fact that he also has these three key stats as well as fighting spirit i think that's going to be a big thing for v2.5 right we also have a secondary addition of him here our second version of him here that has got the same levels used up we've got 11 into defending but he's very balanced so we've got 70 low pass 70 dribble 70s in the defense stats including a 78 defensive engagement a lot of manual tackling will need to be done with this guy but we've got 80 speed and 83 stamina with 76 acceleration so this is your outright kind of you know 352 kind of right back very very high pushed up as a wing back right next up we have got a Parcassi father Parcassi senior um and he is going to be a 21 year old he is a center back as well slightly shorter than his son here um, and it's cool that, you know, there's only a few or a handful of kind of father-son duos. You've got, you know, Peter Schmeichel and Casper. You've got the Cliverts. You've got the Maldinis. You've got a couple of more there kind of floating around as well with the legends. But uh, you've got Collar and Roberto Carlos, obviously. But look, defensive awareness on this guy is through the roof at 90. 
85 aggression and then we've also got 70 acceleration so this is actually low-key a really really nice card for an 84 overall center back this guy can play as a center back more kind of like primary um you can play him secondary as a dmf but interception blocker and he has also got fighting spirit as well as man marking and weighted pass so the two of them are really interesting it's a very interesting kind of bunch of cards a duo of cards that we have here second version of him is slightly different so we haven't pumped in maximum amount into defending this version of him is for outright center back defense if you're playing a 352 and you really need two solid center backs that have build up or one destroyer one build up and then maybe one kind of um extra front man or whatever you want to put up there but he's he's going to focus on speed so it's all going to be about mobility so if you're used to playing with the likes of timber or alaba or somebody that's a lot more versatile this is a second edition of him so that is it for me let's just a quick video let me know if you've actually got these guys i think for five thousand e football points they're quite decent but yeah that is it for me i'll be back in a bit peace